The Gateway Arch welcomes visitors from the eastern part of the country to Missouri. It is also known as the Show Me State and is home to Anheuser-Busch. Some in Missouri must be removed from society due to their failure to follow the laws set forth by the state. We'll look at the Missouri Department of Corrections and some of the most dangerous facilities in the state. First, we'll take a large view of the prison system and look at some facts and figures. According to statistics from the most recent report from 2021, the Missouri Department of Corrections houses 23,137 offenders in their prisons. 90% of them are between the ages of 18 and 49. The state appropriated over $800 million for the 2021 budget, with $332 million of that spent on adult institutions or prisons. Missouri DOC is also in charge of probation and parole of the state. The the entire department has over 10,000 employees. Missouri, like other states, is dealing with an employee shortage. In some months, there are 80,000 to 100,000 overtime hours. The Missouri Department of Corrections lists its mission as improve lives for safer communities. We'll see if they're actually successful in their mission. Missouri holds 13 offenders that have been housed in the prison system before they were 16 years old. In a stunning statistic, 6.2% of the inmate population has less than a third grade education. Medically, 800 178 offenders require 24-hour nursing services. In May 2013, custody levels in Missouri were reclassified. Instead of five, they now have three. The classification is determined by the length of sentence and their institutional behavior. 34.6% or 7,011 male offenders are placed in the highest security level. Females are much more likely to be in the low security level. Only 18.7% are high security. Most incarcerated offenders, 2,826, are sentenced in St. Louis City, which makes sense given the fact that St. Louis is the second largest city in the state behind Kansas City. St. Louis has a population of 301,578. The most serious offense in Missouri is murder in the first degree. It is committed by 1,140 inmates. The length of the average sentence in Missouri is 8.1 years. Let's take a look at two of the most dangerous prisons in Missouri. We'll start with possibly the most dangerous in the location of death row for the state, Potosi Correctional Center. Potosi Correctional Center is about 70 miles south of St. Louis. It is classified as solely a maximum security institution, holding some of the most dangerous offenders in the system. In 2020, the average daily population at the facility was 903 inmates, but the design capacity for the institution is 942. The facility has seven housing units, two of which are single cell units. There are also 165 segregation cells. In Missouri, they do not use the term death row. Instead, capital punishment inmates is the preferred term. Also, death row does not have its own unit like most states. Missouri has integrated these inmates into general population. Currently, there are 20 capital punishment inmates at the facility. Although they are housed here, the death chamber for the state is Eastern Reception, Diagnostic, and Correctional Center in Bon Terre, Missouri. Missouri made news when the daughter of an executed man was not allowed to witness her father's death because she was only 19 at the time. Missouri law requires witnesses to be at least 21 years of age. Potosi has had its fair share of violent incidents. In June 2019, Brian Smith was charged with stabbing being a correctional officer. According to court documents, Smith followed the CO into a room and stabbed him in the face, neck, and jaw, barely missing his carotid artery. Following the attack, he was transferred to Jefferson City Correctional Center. At the time of the attack, he was serving a 40-year sentence for second-degree murder. In another more recent incident, an inmate attacked two female correctional officers, holding a knife to one of their throats. They were able to secure the inmate quickly. The offender was not named pending charges being filed. One inmate at Potosi was profiled on the Netflix show I Am a Killer. Charles Armentrout, or Billy, was convicted in the murder of his grandmother, who had taken him back into her home after he served a 10 year sentence for robbery. Armentrout also had shot his own father, but he survived. He killed his grandmother to obtain money for drugs. He received the death sentence but was converted to life following an appeal. He has remained at Potosi since that time. Before we get to our next prison, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you enjoy this content. Located adjacent to the Missouri River and about a 15 minute drive to the state capitol is our next dangerous facility, Jefferson City Correctional Center. The facility was built to replace the historic Missouri State Penitentiary and is next door to the Algoa Correctional Center, a minimum medium security prison. On a strange note, the address to the facility is 8200 No More Victims Road. Quite an odd name. The facility was completed in 2004 with a capacity of 1,996. It also has a deadly electrified security fence. As of 2020, it was operated in an average population of 1,937. There are 479 custody staff at the prison. It also has
has eight housing units with 264 segregation cells. There have also been several violent incidents at Jefferson City Correctional Facility. In May 2022, a fight in the prison yard between 25 inmates occurred. Two staff were injured and four inmates had to be transported to a local hospital for treatment. The facility was placed on lockdown following the incident. In July 2013, Jose Benitez was murdered in his cell. The perpetrator, Terry Volner, would be brought to justice in 2018. Volner killed Benitez to steal items from him. He was already in prison for the murder of a child in 2011. In 2014, Ryan Vaught also killed his cellmate. Daniel Skipper received multiple stab wounds to his face and scalp. Then he had a piece of fabric wrapped around his neck. Skipper was serving a 50-year sentence for sex crimes. Vaught was serving a 30-year sentence for armed criminal action and assault on law enforcement. Let's cover two infamous inmates at the prison. Marvin Irvin is a former police officer convicted in the murder of three women. His first victim was a sister of his ex-wife. He was a suspect throughout the investigation, but charges were never filed. The next two victims would be abducted in separate incidents after they left a bar. He would kill and bury them in a Kansas cornfield. He would later confess to all three murders and receive a life sentence. Clifton Ray is a convicted serial killer. He was originally convicted in the murder of his neighbor in 1995 and was set to be eligible for parole when in 2007, DNA profiling linked him to two additional murders. Ray is suspected in six other murders between 1987 and 1992. He is now serving a life without parole sentence at Jefferson City Correctional Center. We have now profiled the Missouri Department of Corrections and two of their deadly facilities. Each of these facilities have had incidents of violence and hold some of the most dangerous men in the state. Let me know in the comments if you know of another violent Missouri prison. As always, see you next time.